You want a sausage? Good boy. Zoe. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. McDonald's sausage. <laughs> We're going all out this year, guys. We are. <laughs> Videoing me. Are you videoing me videoing you? Are you videoing me videoing you videoing, you, videoing, 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 videoing me? Are you videoing me videoing you? <laughs> what you got there? iPhone I, iPhone 14 Pro Max? <laughs> I don't nice. Know. Nice, nice, nice. You have a nice chocolate lab. Sweet Zuby. So I was just explaining to Pete that we're basically in the land navigation course at Bezgayeth College. Right now we're learning to navigate the land because I don't have service and we're trying to read a map. Pete is convinced that we're going the opposite direction that I'm convinced that we're going. Pretty certain that I'm right though. So that all that being said, we're both, we're both pretty bad at it. Maybe, but I okay. don't think so. I am pretty sure I know where we're going and I'm going to get us there. Okay. Okay. Right. Navigate I don't think I've made any videos on my phone yet. So for reference, we are looking for our Christmas tree. We've got our 2023 Christmas tree permit here, and we are looking for a Douglas fir. We're at the Magion Rim, and the road is very bumpy, but I see a numbered sign here, so I'm gonna look for it on the map. There's a squirrel on the tree. Hi, squirrel. Kinda looks like a bat. We should give him some nuts. Oh, bye. I was right, by the way, on the direction that we're going. Oh yeah. And uh, we're almost to the Christmas tree section. Did I mention that I was right about where we were on the map and the direction we were going? Pete's, yeah. Pete's annoyed by that. Yeah, don't break your arm, pat yourself in the back there, right? Well, he went on and on about what a terrible navigator I am. Anyways, we're now in the tree cutting area. And we drove up one of the roads and we're, we were seeing some firs. So we're, we left the car, car's right back there. Did you lock the car, Pete? No. Okay. Um, um, but now we're gonna check out these fir trees and maybe find our Christmas tree. Um, well, our house isn't very tall, so I would like say- Literally take legally. We can't like- Zoe sees birds. Out, right? Um, <laughs> I would- would have to look at the permit to remember. I believe it was 10 feet. Oh, okay. What's Polly choking on? So maybe we'll find our tree right here. We just spotted a tree right here. What do you think, Peter? It's pretty good. It seems like a pretty nice one. Let me turn the camera so, around. We've done lots of walking around and we even parked in a different spot, but I think this one might be a winner. Yeah, I mean, the way the light shine on everything. I know. <laughs> it's, it's, I like spotted it from way over there. And like, it is <laughs> it's shining in the sun. Yeah. It has a perfect top. Yeah. You can't see it very well with the camera, but you say we keep walking a little bit and. Along this road? Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. Down. Should we leave a marker somehow? I think we'll be able to see this one. Okay. Yeah. We just found this big bushy tree and now we're having a hard time making a decision this one's just so wide it's not nearly as tall as the other one it is beautiful but we would have to cut a lot of that bottom part yeah, off basically like cut right here and you kind of lose that right there I don't know. we could save all the branches to make wreaths with yeah, it would just be that much short like this would be the bottom then right here you know yeah so you'd have like you know, it just wouldn't be a very tall tree yeah that tall tree i think i like the first one yeah yeah it's, i mean it's, we're gonna have to cut it down anyway because it's not gonna fit in our house yeah yeah true so we can just save the bottom part we'll cut the bottom part off and then put the rest up yeah on the the first one you mean yeah yeah like okay. the first one? i think so let's go back to it and look at it again see yeah mull it over yeah okay this one is beautiful it this is, is all beautiful this whole forest is just incredible. It's like my dream. 
Look at this one is so short and puffy. It's like to my waist and it's so wide. Oh, I love it. Okay, come on. Come on guys, we gotta stick together. What you got there? I have everything that I need to jack lumber. Oh, my today, lumber jack. Where's your flannel? I'm wearing a Hollister shirt. <laughs> Hollister. Oh, God. Cut. What is this? I know, right? What is, I, this, living in the city has really made me soft, let me tell you. <laughs> like maybe hands are all soft. They're all supple and pink. You're rocking the beard and the beanie, though. Yeah, okay. At least I, You're halfway I'm there. Halfway there. Ready, Poe? We found our Christmas tree. Now we got to go cut it down. Let's go. Let's go. So... Actually, I think we went with a tree that I didn't even show. The first one that I found that I really liked was too tall. Um, I think it's over the 10 foot limit and our house isn't very tall, so we'd, we'd really lose a lot of tree there. So then I think I filmed the second tree we found. We're not going with that one. We found a third one and Pete found it. And I think that it's perfect. Wow, my, uh, my lips are not loving this dry, cold air. See how I need some chapstick. But I'll show you the tree when we get there in a second. All right, here is our tree. It's nice and bushy. Very wide. Pretty full. Is this the one, huh, Pete? I, you know, I think so. And, and as much as like it is wonky in some spots, like the last one we had was wonky too in a lot of spots. I think so. the last one was like more wonky in yeah. some spots. Yeah. This one, I mean, it's growing wild. No one's maintaining them. They're not going to be Perfect like trees. the trees you find at Home Depot. That one was. That one was. But, you know, <laughs> Just too tall. It's too beautiful to take out of the woods. But this one's beautiful too. It is. You are, buddy. That's our cake. It's very beautiful. I think it's going to be perfect. So last year our tree's name was Treeston Fergus. So we'll have to come up with a name for this guy. This one's got way more space to cut it down under here than last year. Last year was really wide on the bottom. It was like crawling all well, over the ground. Bushes below it last year. Too. Yeah, this one's more spread out. It's not in a little patch. Oh boy. And the good news is my camera's still working. Okay, the tree's probably gonna fall on me. I was just going to ask if I can try, but I think you've already got it. Kolu, are you going to cut down a tree? Oh, there she goes. Polu, did you find your own Christmas tree? He did this last year too. And Zoe's digging. Here's a little baby tree for Polu. All right, let's see it. Pretty nice. We got our tree. We got the tree. He cut it down. Polu doesn't even know what the hell's going on. Polu found a little stick for his own tree. <laughs> My favorite line of the day so far was Rachel's question to Polu. Polo, do you even know where you're going? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> he was dragging me like he did, like acting like he knew. So right now we're right about at the moment where we realize that we did not pack well and we do not have a tarp or blanket big enough to wrap around the tree that we've already cut down. And it's, can you see that? It's quite, uh, quite large on my car. It's like sticking way up. So we're tying the two blankets that we have together to try to wrap it up to like contain it better. So yeah, that's that's where we're at, trying to get the car, the tree on the roof. Basically we're trying to not be fuck ups any more than we already have been. <laughs> okay, our giant tree is in the house. We're about to open it up. It's hitting the roof. <laughs> Last year we were timid. This year we went big. We went all out. I'm, I'm so glad that we didn't get the bigger one that we were looking at. 
it's so pretty. What do you think, Fifi? She's like, what did these crazy humans do? It's okay, Fif. She's scared. There's a whole ass tree in this house. It's so big. <laughs> it's like, you can't tell on the video, but <laughs> Peter. Oh, it's a fucking monster. Oh, I love it. Where is it going to go? I don't go? know. We're going to have to rearrange everything. Oh, my God. Or at least trim it. It's bigger than our living We're room. We're going to need more lights. It's bigger than the kitchen. Wow. We really like, own hold a lot. Like, hold the camera. Can you see how big this thing is? Yeah, we really... Like, it's wider than the kitchen door, like, kitchen... I think we're going to have to... Entryway. We're going to have to move the couches and put it right there. Yeah. That's, like, the only way... That's the only... That's the only way it's going to work. Oh, my God. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so fucking cool. I can't stop laughing. Yeah. Okay, we moved the tree... Pete's back there trimming it because it's still <laughs> not fitting. I mean, look how big it is next to our couches. It's so cute fucking huge. This is why it took us two hours to get it on the car. It's huge. It looks so cute though. It's perfect. I cannot believe that we found it. Oh, you're really trimming it. If so, Scott's gonna have it room back there it does it doesn't even fit in that corner yeah that's where you can get it back against the corner you know <laughs> oh my goodness furiosa was already checking it out trying to climb in it we're home and we found the perfect place for our perfect tree it is so much bigger than we expected and that's probably why we had such a hard time getting it on the car but we made it work. It's not too tall for the house. It was also really hard to get it in the house, but it definitely is not more than 10 feet. Our house is not very tall. We did not break any rules. We cut it in the correct cutting zone and we had a permit and I don't like to break rules. So we didn't break any rules, but it is a big tree and it's so Perfect. We just have to get some lights for it. I'll turn the camera around to show it better. Any final thoughts, Peter? I just, this thing's fucking big, okay? I'd like to point out though, in hindsight, when both of us were loading this thing on the car, at no point was either you or me like turn to the other and was like, it's fucking look funny to you? Something's wrong here? Like, we were, just, like, we were looking at it, just like, no, it was like, dude, this is bigger than last time. Like, we were just like, had to like, Force through and make it work. But yeah, like, <laughs> not, not one point was like, does this look right to you? Does this look right? This is like, <laughs> we should maybe bring a measuring tape next there time. We go. It just, it's so wide. I know it, it's hard to tell, but those are really big windows that it's in front of. Like, you just saw it next to Pete. It's a big tree, but it's so perfect for this space. It's so beautiful. It's so fluffy. It smells so good. Furios is already climbing it. That's not a good sign. Um, but yeah, I think that this was one of the best Thanksgivings that I've ever had. Of course, I miss all my family, but this was so much fun to go get this tree together. And the dogs had fun. They've all eaten. I'm going to now sh shower and put my jammies on and drink a sour beer. And happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, fuckers.